What's up guys and ghouls? Today I am filming a decor tour for you. I figured I would take you around my house and show you what I have decorated thus far. I haven't put everything out that I'm going to have for my Halloween party, but don't worry, there's a video coming at the end of the month that will have all of the decor for the Halloween party. So for right now, I figured I'd show you at least what I have out. <laughs> So starting here on the coffee table, I have this really cute little tray that I got from Home Goods. I think this was $15.99. These little tea lights came in a pack of two from the dollar store, and this giant rest in peace gravestone candle I got from Home Goods as well, and I believe it was $9.99. So obviously you guys saw this tray from one of my Target hauls earlier. This I actually made in a DIY that you will be able to go watch on my collab channel with Sport. It's called Kill for Sport, and there'll be a link down below if you want to check that out. This actually I just keep out year round but I thought it still looked creepy enough to put out and it's also really dirty I'm gross and it's just a, a lantern that I got from Michaels actually for like three dollars because it's missing glass on one of the sides um, but I you know I still think it looks nice this came from someone I actually do conventions with um, he hand makes all of his ceramics um, I'll leave a link down below if you'd like to go check out his stuff I actually just made more purchases and I have to put those out but I don't have a spot for them yet and then obviously I have my battery activated lights um, Oh, I think some, most of them burned out. Oh no, wait, maybe they just aren't turning on. Yeah, most of them burned out. Okay, so I do have to replace the batteries on these, but those are my battery activated lights. I thought they were so cute and I didn't want to put anything like hot on this for some reason, so that's why I have this candle here. Over here in this corner, there's like a lot of wires and stuff, <laughs> but I just decorated this table with my clear glass pumpkin and I filled it with like smaller pumpkins. Both the pumpkins inside and this glass pumpkin came from Target. So here on the window, I have some window clings that I got from Target. It was two dollars for all of these window clings, so they're really, really cute. I really like the Raven one. He's my favorite one. Okay, here on the table, by the way, Dari is on TV. Here on the table, I have most of like the decor spread out. So I have some candles here in the front. These are actually candles that they're not Halloween at all. I was trying to sell them at my craft fairs and they just weren't selling, so I decided to start burning them. Um, and then obviously I make these as well. They're in my Etsy shop, Alter Egos. So if you're interested in making a purchase of those, um, you can do that. I have a candy bucket right here that I got from Spirit Halloween full of candy. This is another one of those little plaques that I made. And then here is a light up tree. I think I got that from, I don't know, I wanna say Target, but I'm not sure. It does light up, but I don't turn it on until night because I don't want the batteries to go. Um, this Happy Halloween sign I got from Joann's one year, I think like four or five years ago. You Say I'm a Witch Like I'm a Bad Thing came from Home Goods. I think it was $6 and I bought a couple of these. Actually, I completely forgot over here, like where the pumpkin is. I had one hanging up here. It says trick or treat. Very cute. And then I just have some incense that we light and some more candles. Um, another candle from my shop. This one is Winifred Sanderson. And then here, it's just kind of there as of right now because I don't know where else to put it, but it's another little candy thing that I got from Target Dollar Spot. Up here on the top shelf of our little like bookshelfy thing here, um, I have a boo sign that came from the Target Dollar Spot last year. I have another one of my prayer candles from my shop. This has 11 from Stranger Things on it. This really cool light up pumpkin that I got from the Target Dollar Spot. This came from Michael's on clearance because it is chipped in a couple of places. Um, so I believe I got it for $3. And then that's my Patronus of Millie. On the next shelf down, I have these really cute poison and moon juice jars that I got from Target last year. Um, these were actually given to me by my mom. They're just like these really cute little candle holders with like the weird candles. I don't ever light them um, because obviously they're not like straight and I don't want the wax to drip everywhere, but I think they're really pretty. Um, these little candle holders I got from actually the summer collection at Michael's. They were 70% off of $4.99, so I think they were about like a dollar or something. Um, and I just have little fake tea lights in them. And then these tombstones came from the dollar store. I thought they were really cute. In fact, Target has really cool ones this year that are $3 and they're bigger than this, but I already have these, so I don't see the point in buying anymore. <laughs> So down here I have my triple skull statue that I got from Home Goods, and these are actually crystals that stay out all year round, but I just thought they looked really pretty near that. Um, these are not staying here, I just put them there because I wanted to know where they were. These two jars I got from Publix of all places during their clearance section, so they were like 50 cents a jar, and one of them was missing the thing, but it's okay. This came from the Target Dollar Spot this year. Those are just my crystals that I have out all year round. Um, this is a little jar that I got from Michaels. This, I don't remember where I got. If <laughs> I have, I've had this forever. I really don't remember where I got it, but I love it. 
Um, it's like a little creepy little guy. I love him. And then um, I have my Amelia book that I'm never, I'm not putting that away ever. And then another crystal. And then I have my bigger crystal that Ian got me for my birthday, which weighs 50 pounds. I can't even pick it up. And then my Here Lays Beetlejuice tombstone. So moving over to like this hot mess over here, we do have a spooky sign hanging on Luna's leash. So I have the spooky sign hanging right here. So down here are the three pumpkins that I made in the DIY video that I did. One of my little pumpkins actually sitting next to Millie. Um, so I have a, a cool little pumpkin that I got. I think I showed you guys that in a video. And Harry Potter, it stays out all year. I got these cute little pumpkin figurines from Michaels actually the other day. They were $5 a piece and I thought they were so cute and like vintage looking. This sign I've had for a really long time. I don't remember where I got it, probably Michaels years ago. And this is actually really creepy but it stays out all year round. Like I'm just obsessed with this bust. Fun fact, it used to be in my parents' room growing up and I was terrified of it. But then when I was moving out, my mom asked me if I wanted it and for some reason I'm like, yeah, yeah I do. I want it, it has to stay with me forever. So here it is. Over here I have my haunted radio. This actually stays out all year round, um, but it's just sitting on our bar shelf looking all cute. On my bedroom door I have my crazy raven wreath that I got from Target last year during their clearance, so it was 50% off. Looking this way I have a little light up bat sign that I have yet to put batteries in sitting on this like weird cutout section of my apartment. Um, and then this stays up all year round too, but it is my, my Death Eater paper cutout that I'm obsessed with. Here I have a wreath that I made. Let me just turn the light on. I made this wreath, it came, all of the things came from the dollar store, um, so I made that I think two or three years ago now, and it just hangs on my door. Here I have like a little soap thing, and I have some Palo Santo wood sticking out with my Ouija board soap, and then a psychic soap, so that's just... I didn't really do too much in my bathroom in the way of decorating, I will decorate it more once the party is much closer. And then I do have my little other Happy Halloween sign right here. Okay, the shelf. This is like so dirty because I'm still cleaning my house, but I have another candy dish from Spirit Halloween right here. Excuse the mess here. Like I've been so crazy busy. And then also when this is clean, it looks nice, but I have like these two cute pumpkins with an owl hanging out on it. In the kitchen, by way of decoration, I really only have these two towels as of right now. I will be doing more for the party. Luna, stop barking. Stop it. On this door right here, I have another DIY that I did. It's like a creepy little pagan wreath that I made. Um, so it's hanging on the door to my filming room. And then just to show you guys what I did for the filming, which I'm sure you've been seeing in the video, but I added some of these purple lights behind my pull-out bed couch thing and a couple little pillows and fun things on top and voila, my filming area. Now these boxes are full of more decorations that have to go out for the party. And then over here is more decorations that have to go out for the party. Um, so yeah, I have a lot more stuff to do, but I just wanted to give you a brief glimpse into what I've done so far and what I have yet to do. Also Beetlejuice because who doesn't love Beetlejuice? All right, you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this quick decor tour. Um, I still have a lot to do, as you can see, and I need to clean because my whole house is a mess. I'm actually gonna be doing that after I'm done filming today. But yeah, I can't wait to show you guys the finished product once the party is much closer, and I will see you guys tomorrow with another 31 days of Vlogoween video. Bye, everyone. The, the spooks still around to test their skill. Let's stroke a 12 for a night. Seemed as such a frightful sight. Stay, stay away when the ghosts stab the goblins play when the hands of the clocks pull out midnight. Better get in out of sight.